Hello there guys and welcome back. I thought as I'm now switching over from Feed the Beast Ultimate to Feed the Beast Unleashed, I would make another little quick video showing you how to install the Sfax Pure BD Craft Texture Pack for Feed the Beast Feed the Beast Unleashed. Uh, it's very similar process, only you don't need to install Optifine this time around, which does make it easier, but there are still quite a few people that end up downloading the wrong files, so that's the bit that I want to concentrate on. But this should still be fairly quick. The first thing you want to do is start up your Feed the Beast launcher and have a look what version of the game we're currently on. So if we're looking at Feed the Beast Unleashed, Feed the Beast Unleashed is version 1.1.3, but the one we're interested in is the actual Minecraft version, which is 1.5.2. So that's the number you're going to need to remember. Obviously, that's the current version at the time of this video. It may be that um, you're watching now and it might be 1.5.3 or it might have moved on to a different version. But at the moment, I'm looking for 1.5.2. So I can minimise that down and go into your browser. And the easiest way to find it is literally just go to um, Google and just search for Sfax and you will get bdcraft.net. That's the website for Sfax. So what you want to do is click the Get It button up there at the top and that will take you here. Now, if you have a look down on the list, you're going to see that these big buttons at the top, these are for Minecraft 1.6.2. We want the one for 1.5.2, so this is the one I need to click. You've got various different uh, resolution options for the textures, 512, 256, 128, 64, 32, and so on. Uh, 128 is the recommended, obviously you need a higher performance computer to do the high resolution ones if you've got an older slower computer you might want to hit the lower ones now you can download any of these but at the time of recording this video only the 128 and 64 packs have the uh, unleashed mod textures done for them so you might want to check that first but i'm going to run at the recommended which is 128 so i'm going to click the link for 1.5.2 and that'll take you to one of these sort of dodgy ad sites that is trying to sell you some sort of junk. Wait until the counter in the top right hand corner goes down to zero and click the skip ad button and then eventually the download will start and there it is right there. Now we've got that, let's get rid of that. And what we need to do now is get a patch for the mods. It says download patches for mod support so we're going to click on patch and you can see you've got all these different versions. You can download the textures for individual mods. But we want to click on this mod pack link at the top. And you can see there's one here for Feed the Beast Unleashed. Click on the Patch, Deals, uh, patch Details button below. And if you scroll down, you'll see that there is a patch for 128 and 64. That's all there is at the moment. So we want to click the 128. And then scroll down a little bit and you'll see some downloads. Uh, the At the time of recording this video, the 128 mirror is currently down. So click the 128x-ish download and that takes you to Mediafire and there's a download button here. It's 106 meg, well almost 107, so it might take a little while to download. So I'll just edit this out while that uh, finishes doing what it's doing. Okay, so I've now got the two folders or two zip files that I downloaded, which is the Sfax Pure BD Craft 128 for Minecraft 1.5 and the Rednix Feed the Beast Unleashed release, currently version 0.0.1. .0 there are a few textures in here that are missing and not quite right because these are early days for the textures for the mod pack, but I'm sure as time goes on, this folder or this file will get updated with newer versions. So the first thing you want to do is to take the texture file uh, zip and just extract it to uh, a folder just so we can get access to it. There we go, we've extracted the Sfax Pure BDCraft folder onto a folder in the desktop. Now I also want to extract the patch file. Okay, there we go. So that has now finished extracting. So we've got two extracted folders, the Sfax PureCraft BD128 and the Rednix Feed the Beast. So we want to go into the Rednix folder. We want to highlight all of the folders that are inside and copy them. And then we want to go into the Sfax folder and paste all of the files and folders that we've just copied from the Rednix folder. Now that'll take a minute or two. Towards the end you will get a couple of conflicts on folders, 
which it will ask you if you want to replace. That's fine, just click yes to those. And then you will have your texture pack folder. And there we go, we've hit the conflicting folder. So we're just gonna click yes to that one and that one. And there we are, done. We now have the finished texture pack folder. Now the next big problem is people not being able to find where their Minecraft install folder is to put the texture pack in the right place. What I'm quickly going to do is just copy the folder to the clipboard. And the easiest way to find the correct place to put it is to actually start the game. So we're going to launch Minecraft. Now once Minecraft has launched, the easiest way to find the folder is to click the options button, click the texture packs button, and then down here in the bottom left, open texture packs folder. And as you can see, it's in my E drive in a folder called FTB, then there's unleashed Minecraft and texture packs. I'm going to leave that uh, folder open. What I would suggest doing though is actually quitting from the game before copying the folder in here because Minecraft's a bit temperamental and may lock up or crash out. So we're going to copy that folder into the texture packs folder. As soon as that folder has copied over we are going to relaunch the game. Then once the game has loaded in go back into options into texture packs and you should now see as well as the default you have these facts pure BD craft pack in there and click on that now you just notice I've clicked nothing's happened when you first go into this menu sometimes there is a little bit of a delay while it's registering the texture pack and all the files but that's fine it doesn't mean it's crashed it just means it's uh, being a little bit slow it will get there eventually give it a few seconds click a few times and just be patient and wait with it for a minute or two there we go, so that only took about 10 or 15 seconds and it's now switched over to this fax texture pack. I'm going to hit done. As you can see from the menu, it's already switched over and it tells us here which texture pack we're using. Let's just very quickly check by going into the game itself. And there we go, we are in the game, and as you can see, we appear to have Sfax loaded. If we just look in the inventory, particularly at uh, Not Enough Items, we can scroll down here through the list of blocks, and as you should see, pretty much all of the blocks here have the Sfax textures installed. So that's fine, that's exactly what we were looking for. Just one thing to bear in mind, um, the Sfax texture pack, especially with the Feed the Beast Unleashed patch, is absolutely huge. Uh, and the number of files that are in it as well. Java doesn't handle those kind of files particularly well. So for this reason, when you install this Fax Texture Pack, Minecraft can be a little bit slow when you're trying to launch the game. Sometimes it feels like the game is uh, completely frozen or crashed. I mean, obviously, if the game does crash and kicks you out to the desktop, then it has crashed. But more often than not, the only thing you're going to get with it is that it will just um, it'll just freeze up. Sometimes up to thirty seconds to a minute. That is normally what happens. To be quite honest, so what I would say is, if it freezes up, just leave it for a minute or two. Be patient. Particularly the first time you run the texture pack, that's when it's most likely to do it. After that, you should be fine. But there you go, you don't need to install any other mods, you don't need Optifine this time around. Uh, game's running quite smoothly at all of the default settings, because this was a, a fresh install. The waypoints are just from a previous game on a world with the same name. And um, there you are, the Sfax Pure BD Craft Texture Pack. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.